You must pray for their souls, as they have sold them. Thursday, August 29, 2013 at 11.53 p.m. My dearly beloved daughter, those of you who pray my crusade prayers diligently, know that I bring relief to the world from the snares of the devil. The old serpent falls and stumbles losing much power when you strive to say my crusade prayers, daily. And while the times of great trials continue, your prayers will create many setbacks in the plans created by Masonic powers in the world, which are designed to create havoc in order to control the weak and vulnerable. Just one crusade prayer, said from the heart, is enough for me to destroy the power of arrogant political leaders, who do not have a conscience. Egoism is a curse and a liability to mankind's ability to live in harmony and peace. The obsession with personal ambition brings nothing but division, as man strives to dominate those he feels he needs to, in order to gain much. Those of you who follow, blindly, the orders of those in positions of power, who direct you into committing acts, which you know are abhorrent in the eyes of God, then you, too, will be found as guilty as those who tempt you to carry out such wickedness. The men and women, whose power over others has been created because of corrupt acts and other means, will have much work to do, if they wish to enjoy my glorious kingdom. I will fell the egotists and proud amongst you. I will throw you onto the ground, until you become as humble as those you trample upon. I will cut out the hearts of those hardened and stubborn souls who care nothing for anyone's needs, except their own. They will be taught that if they cannot love, then they shall not have it. Instead of love, they seek only idolization. These poor souls who have been elevated before you in the world, in every form, are victims of Satan. Instead of applauding their boastfulness and accepting their insatiable need for public adoration, you must pray for their souls as many have sold them. Many souls in positions of influence over others, including those in politics, the world of music, the media, the entertainment business and those in high finance, are to be held in your hearts, as many have become slaves to themselves and their needs, which serve only their own lusts and desires. They infest the innocent, who emulate them and copy their lifestyles, which have separated them from God. I, Jesus, condemn the world of false idols created by those who want nothing but power, wealth and the ability to influence others. The spread of atheism has been caused by man's pride in his own ability. It has been caused by man's belief that mortal man, because of the gift of human intelligence, has all the answers to the true meaning of your life on earth. Young souls have been lost to me because they idolize false idols in the form of worldly goods, fashion, music and the world of entertainment. It isn't that they must not enjoy life, because this brings me happiness, it is their lack of love for me and their own bodies which grieve me. They were born pure and perfect. Their bodies are a gift from heaven. They desecrate their bodies and have no shame in performing obscene acts in order to draw innocent souls towards them. Many of those with such power have sold their souls for their diabolically inspired gifts. The only reason they were given these gifts was to provide pleasure to the world, as a talent given to them by God. But, Satan tempted many and promised them, in return for their souls, a glorious and glittering life of wealth, adulation, fame and pleasure. When they received these gifts, they then used them to infest other souls. And so, it continues, until millions of other souls become slaves to Satan. Many souls who follow false idols become drawn to drug addiction. They have no shame, no modesty nor real love for each other, as each tries to vie for the greatest attention. So much time is spent in the battle for self-glory, which is caused by an obsessive love of themselves, that God plays no role at all in their lives. 
Many of them reject God openly through the desecration of the holy crucifix, so little shame do they have. Know that they would suffer a terrible fate, were I not to intervene. These are just one group of lost souls, which I will garner and then provide them with the gift of salvation, because of your prayers my beloved followers. I will take them through this special prayer, into my refuge. Crusade Prayer 117 for those who have sold their souls. Dearest Jesus, I consecrate the souls of list them here and all those who swapped their souls for the price of fame. Rid them of their infestation. Turn them away from the threat of the Illuminati, who devour them. Give them the courage to walk away from this wicked bondage without fear. Take them into your arms of mercy and nurture them back to a state of grace, so they are fit to stand before you. By your divinity, help me through this prayer, for Satan's adopted souls, to prize them away from masonry. Free them from the shackles which bind them and which result in a terrible torture in the chambers of hell. Help them, through the suffering of chosen souls, through my prayers and through your mercy, to be in the front line, ready to enter the gates of the new era of peace, the new paradise. I beg you to release them from captivity. Amen. Your Jesus.